Buick is a brand on the rise, and one of their stars is the Buick Regal. For 2014, Buick has done what they call a mid-cycle enhancement, which essentially amounts to some new front fascia, new headlights, taillights, rear fascia, kind of the cosmetic things. But they've also made some changes under the hood, and the bottom line is this is the athletic model in their lineup. This is the one that they hope is gonna bring some younger buyers into the brand. Other than some GS badging, one way you can distinguish your GS from a standard Regal are these wheels. Now they're extra because standard wheels are 19 inch wheels. These are 20 inch wheels only available on the GS and they look great. Another thing you see here are Brembo brakes, which are some of the finest brakes in the industry. They also come standard on the Regal GS. Regal has two essential models. There's a base model and then there's the GS. This is the premium high output model. Now they both actually have the same engine, a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. The difference is in the torque band curve of the GS is a, it's a little bit better, gives you a little better performance. What you have is 295 pound feet of torque and 259 horsepower. That's a little bit down from the outgoing model, but you get the same zero to 60 times and better fuel economy. In order to make the Regal GS even more performance oriented, uh, Buick added the optional all wheel drive system. And it's a great system. It can actually go from as much as 90% power to the front to as much as 100% power to the rear. This is really gonna help elevate the Regal GS into more of a world-class sports sedan. Buick has made some significant enhancements to the interior of the Regal and the Regal GS. Uh, one thing that they share in common is this eight inch navigation screen. Navigation is actually standard on the Regal GS and the Regal. Uh, it's a great navigation screen and has some great technology with apps. Uh, but more importantly, you also have an eight inch TFT screen as your speedometer and you can customize this depending on what styling you like. But what's really important are these two buttons. There's a sport button and then there's a GS button. Now what that does, sport is kind of a mild uh, you know, performance uh, button, it, it, it basically just changes the suspension a little bit. But when you put it in the GS, you really kind of get into this track mode and it, and it even changes the steering. You feel it tighten up right away and that's kind of what makes this more of a performance sedan. Starting price for a base front wheel drive Regal GS is just over $37,000, around $39,000 for an all wheel drive. Now, when you look at that price point, that puts it in some really heavy company, including the all new Mercedes Benz CLA. Uh, so this car has a lot of competition, but it also has enough differentiation to make a case for itself. Overall, the, uh, the Regal GS is, is a lot of fun to drive. It's, uh, it's got plenty of power. And what's nice is that torque, that horsepower, it's all available, you know, at a wide range, at a, at a relatively low band, so you don't really have to really rev it up to get that power. Uh, now, we, we could use some paddle shifters. We think if you're going to be a performance vehicle, uh, it is available in the six-speed manual, but if you're going to have a, if you have a performance car, we want paddle shifters. M most of the other cars in this segment do. Now, if you get the six-speed manual, you cannot get all-wheel drive. So those of you who want that, you're gonna to have to make a decision. In many ways, this Buick Regal is German engineered because it is the identical vehicle that they sell over there under the Opel Insignia nameplate. Uh, now, if that's not enough to get you to buy it, think about all the styling changes they've made. Think about all the packaging. You have a four year, 50,000 mile warranty, a good price point, great performance, and great looks.